I will give you one shortcut which is to observe your experience. When you observe your experience, you recognize first of all, this is an experience happening right now. So we eliminate the need to investigate what is happening right now. Or is it a good experience? Or what are you feeling now? Or what are you thinking about now? So observe your experience. You are aware of your experience. And this ingredient of awareness has been always overlooked. Because you were so fascinated with your experiences. There were good experiences, bad experiences. They're very engaging. They surely require your attention, all your life experience. But when you observe your experience, you recognize that you are aware of your experience. So perhaps you are aware. Is awareness of this experience limited in any kind of way? There is a difference between focus that is limited, your attention is limited, but, your, but awareness of this experience is not limited. It's, we could say, spherical, it's 360 degrees. And to recognize that this is just an experience and you are aware of it, it might be very sharp and very deep. It might be frightful to the mind too, if it's not ready for the unknown. But eventually, this awareness of this experience is found to be the real home, the real self. It has never moved. It has never changed. It always penetrated the experience. It was always with experience, in experience, through experience, everywhere within experience. So you are already aware and conscious. And the experience is the content, we could say. It's filled with spaces and objects and all kinds of illusions and persistent thoughts and feelings. And it can take a while to sit with this truth and to be comfortable with this truth, to clarify your anxieties, to clarify your confusions, to heal your wounds, to inquire whether these feelings are who you truly are or not. It can take a while for you to navigate fully out of experiences so that you realize that this boundless awareness has always been here. You have moved your attention fully within experience and identified with something very limiting called the I and got lost in experience. And now you need to reverse the process to go behind the eye, to recognize the falsehood of this eye, claiming everything, evidentially being very limited in its nature because it's very it's personal, it's changing all the time. Then to come to see the experience which I call the relative reality. It is real, you know, what's happening here around is real, but relatively real because it is universe. It is manifested. It is born, it is created. So it is real, but relatively real because the absolute reality is consciousness itself, this boundless awareness itself. That is the foundation of all reality. Then there is experience, not even necessarily physical experience, it can be a meditative experience, a spiritual experience. If you're bored of the 3D physical experiences, then go for meditation. You're going to have infinite spiritual experiences. 
you can meditate for thousands of years and navigate from inside you all across the universe it's endless possibilities experiences are endless but awareness of those experiences is not boring it's just that you haven't found a value of the fact that you are already aware of this experience and the mind is is commonly very limited in finding value in anything which is not tangible so thus you need the knife of the truth to cut through the mental values, the mental qualities, to realize that without awareness and you being conscious, nothing exists. They are meaningless. They don't even exist. So upon inquiry of this very simple truth that you are aware of your experience, if you really stick with this inquiry, you can eliminate all these mental structures and you will realize that there is no effort to be here, to be aware. There is effort right now because your attention and focus is very entangled with objects. So this is why you need some effort right now to remember that you are already aware but to prove that you don't need any effort to be aware i will ask you now try to be not aware can you do that can you be not aware right now it's impossible so therefore you don't need effort to be aware